Okay. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today, I've tried to do something a bit different. I'm trying to be fucking positive today, alright guys? Fucking positive. Um, in order to be positive, I'm going to try and give you what I consider three extremely valuable skills that will... If you implement them correctly, probably be able to improve your life at least, you know, a fucking little bit. Let's not get carried away here. Probably a little bit. Um, not a lot of it, just a little bit. But be able to improve your life at least a little bit. Uh, these skills are a little bit obscure. Um, you might already be doing some, you might not. Who fucking knows? But let's have a shot anyway. Right, oh, numero uno. Um, we will be talking about short term memorization using a, not a memory palace. Memory palace is a different thing, but a memory room. Now, the room, I suggest you use your own sort of room for this. Um, but the idea is you look from left to right in your room noticing uh, several key objects. You will basically associate with these key objects certain facts that you want to memorize in the short term. Um, if you do this, it is a lot easier to memorize shit in short term. Now, you can load these facts into... Uh, either mnemonics or whatever you want to do um, but you can also stack upon that and just the using of your room and the association of items within the room um, you can memorize shit a lot easier and that will help you in the short term for any tests or any things that you need to memorize in the short term basically <laughs> um, it's a useful tool uh, I haven't used it much throughout my life. Uh, by the time I learnt it, I'd already finished my university degree. I'd already, you know, gathered my degree in engineering, whatever. Um, but it is something that would have been very useful for me to use to remember shit back in the day. Um, yeah, so something for you to try. Uh, the first tip is using the... Not the memory palace, but the short-term memory room to memorize shit. I should also mention uh, that the more symbolism you use, 
um, for the memorization, the more effective it will be. But basically, yeah. Um, memorization technique. But let's be honest, memorization techniques are bullshit. You're only going to use them in corrupt hierarchies. Corrupt hierarchies aren't going to give you anything for free. So, my tip number two fucking invest. Invest in stable high dividend stock. The more stable high dividend stock you get is the more money you earn from doing absolutely fucking nothing besides having your money in stable high dividend stock. This is especially useful if you're like the type of person that just gathers money in a bank account, never does anything with it, just fucking leaves it there, uh, eventually spends it. If you store it in stable high dividend stock, not only can you uh, sell it when you fucking need to sell it, say when you need money or whatever, but you can, like, it is then susceptible to uh, taxes, for, for example, capital gains or whatever. But if you just fucking leave it where it is, you leave it in the stable high dividend stock, uh, buy yearly or yearly or quarterly, depending on the, the individual high dividend stock, you will get money for nothing. Um, money for nothing is very fucking useful, especially during the cost of living crisis at the moment. So, you know, Google search high dividend stock, stable high dividend stock. Um, my suggestion would be to look deeply into energy stocks and that sort of deal. But that is my number two tip to improve your life. Invest in stable high dividend stock. You'll get extra money for nothing. Don't have to do anything to fucking get it. Um, yeah, and otherwise your money would just be sitting in a bank account doing nothing. Or you'd buy it, you know. <laughs> you'd spend it on useless shit that you probably didn't fucking need in the first place. Let's be honest. Uh, if you're anything like me, you wouldn't, you know, buy thousands and thousands of DVDs and games. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that is my number two tip. Right, uh, my number three tip, uh, especially to all of you that are particularly anxiety prone or prone to replaying conversations and shit in your head, wondering whether or not you are the good guy or the bad guy in the specific encounter. Learn. Uh, logical fallacies I'm telling you like very specific logical fallacies not only will they help you win arguments they might not help you win arguments against women by the way <laughs> just full disclosure but they will help you sort out arguments and issues in your head to understand who's full of shit and who's not full of shit if you understand the structure of an argument that is fallacious uh, you'll be much less likely to fall for arguments that are fallacious and then you'll be like less likely to invest in them less likely to lose capital in them including intellectual capital etc uh including time um i've known some people that are fucking socialists that have wasted fucking entire lives on socialism etc um there's a bunch of different type types of logical fallacies um fallacies of composition where one part where if one part of the argument is considered incorrect or fallacious the whole argument is not necessarily fallacious like that's a fallacy of composition you've got uh fallacies of corrupt authority arguments from authority that sort of deal where you're arguing not based on facts of the matter but purely on an a specific authority which may or may not be correct like, that's another uh, incorrect argument. That's another fallacious argument. It's just stuff like that, right? Arguments from emotion. Um, um, appeals to heaven. Like, there's a bunch of different types of them. But if you learn them, they will, you know, be good for you in life to know, basically. You will be less likely to fall for shit pushed by bad actors. Um, you'll be less likely to be hung out to dry just if you know where the fucking all the cards are from all these fucking incorrect arguments um, and it also it, it's also a little bit of a curse because you'll also look at fucking governments and shit and the shit they're trying to push especially in like you know media and popular culture and all that sort of shit you realize all the shit they're pushing is fucking harmful so it's a, a little bit of a double-edged sword um, you know, if you're ignorant of, you know, all this shit, 
you're probably happier off. <laughs> but if you know it, you're less likely to conduct evil in the world, let's say. Um, but yeah, look, that's number three. Alright, I'm looking at my video, it's only fucking ten and a half minutes in. I was planning for this to be a full video, so I guess I'll just give you a fucking bonus tip then. <laughs> Alright, so... Bonus tip will be speed reading. Uh... Alright, so... Ooh, where to start? Where to start with speed reading? It's an easy skill to learn, like it's not that complex to learn. It's just a little hard to explain, I guess. Um, there's a bunch of different books about it. Um, one of the dudes, I think it was like Tim Weiss or whatever, he wrote a book on speed reading and like just being able to read extremely fast um, will fucking help you in life. It'll help you absorb more information quicker um, because you absorb more information quicker, you'll be able to apply your logic quicker. Uh, you'll have a big advantage in situations that require it, put it that way. Um, such as like... Well, I've never been involved with law, but I can imagine fucking law is one of those situations where you can apply not only speed reading, but also logical fallacies. Because there's like a fair bit of overlap with law uh, and logical fallacies like hearsay and, you know, that sort of deal. Whether or not something is an eyewitness, etc. But, uh, speed reading. Um, in order to speed read, the most simplest first step would be not to focus on the words, to focus on the spaces in between the words. It will help you read sentences quicker alone. Um, the next sort of step there is to use your peripheral vision to look at the words as well. Uh, your brain can actually identify words much quicker than you can consciously. Um, that's like the whole key to speed reading. That's the whole life hack sort of fucking deal with it, right? Um, your brain, if you see just like the first like two words or whatever it is and the last word, you can make like a fucking very educated guess on what the word is and you can already absorb the meaning, basically. That's like the whole principle behind speed reading. So the idea is to then use your peripheral uh, vision to absorb sentences. So you're not looking at individual words, you're looking at the gaps in between the words. And then after that, you're starting the sentence... Uh, like, let's say, like, a third of the way in, and then you're finishing the sentence a third of the way out. Uh, that way, you will be able to uh, use your peripherals to absorb the first third and the last third of the sentence, um, and absorb it quicker using the method of not looking at the individual words, which you will focus on, but rather than the gaps in between the words. Um, I know, it fucking sounds out there, right? Give it a fucking shot, trust me. <laughs> you will fucking read way, way quicker using this technique. Like, I was fucking surprised too. It's, it's like one of those, like, golden rules. And then obviously once you've learned it, you can use this technique to read books. Hopefully in your books, you're reading uh, other useful techniques, say like investing or fucking speed reading or logical fallacies or whatever. Hopefully you're not reading like useless shit written by Noam Chomsky, which is like all an appeal to authority and an appeal to status to start with, tricking you into putting extra value into his fucking awful ideas. Fuck that old cunt. <laughs> Sorry, I've read a Noam Chomsky book before and I thought it was absolute fucking bullshit and complete waste of my time. That's why I have like a vendetta against Noam Chomsky, he's a son of a bitch. Yeah, um, I prefer people with that deal with like hard truths or at least metaphorical truths that are applicable, right? Um, anyway, look, enough metaphysics, enough fucking nonsense, you know, ideology shit. Those are three hard skills you can use. Well, four. You got a bonus one. You got a bonus hard skill to use in order to improve your life. Um, you can give them a crack. 
Well, I'm not your mother. You don't have to fucking listen to me. But, you know, they, they're fucking useful. They can increase the ability you are. They can increase the amount of information you can learn. And they can increase the amount of information you can sift through um, speedily, let's say. Um, because they can do that, you'll be able to identify bullshit in the world a lot quicker. And you'll be able to identify useful shit in the world a lot quicker. Uh, anyway, there you go. Three... Point, three plus one. Uh, useful fucking tips to help you navigate the world. May she protect us. May she guide us. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> 